Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers, where today uh, all the audio in this recording corrupted, yay! So um, I'm going to have to be doing a voiceover instead for this video. Means you're not going to be able to see or hear any of the uh, other people, but at least we've got the actual video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so um, to start this video off, we made quite a lot of progress on the base off camera. Main reason I didn't want to sort of show it on camera, it was very dull, I spent about three hours, well, not more than three hours, like four or five hours just doing building basic, working stuff out, getting stuff quite how I want it, and uh, I thought about recording it or streaming it, but it just wasn't very interesting. So as you can see, here's the uh, actual base. I, uh, I do have a lot of different um, photos I'm going to do in a little clip with some music right now to uh, to share the progress of the base and how it got there. So without further ado, enjoy that. Alright, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty good, actually. Um, of course, I just wanted to prove that we actually did it in survival, and I don't really have to prove it, but, you know, there's always going to be them people who think that I just went into creative and built all, so uh, I didn't. I, uh, what else did I do? I built these doors here. They actually took probably the same amount of time as most of the base to weld up, because they take a lot of components, but... Uh, Pretty cool. I use the new block, uh, new sort of modded blast doors, or oh, blast doors, airtight hanger doors, and I uh, put the wand with windows at the top. I like the way it looks. It adds that sort of industrial feel. Um, we also built all of this production mainly to stamp presses because this place actually required a lot of uh, metal steel plates, as you could probably imagine. So we did all that. Um, you can sort of see it every now and then, the uh, roof of this sort of hub, I'm going to class it as. Basically just the centre of this base for the garage. Um, I sort of designed it with some lights and I really actually like the way it looks. So, um, yeah, I, I, I really like that. We are... There you go, that's the lights all on the roof. We... Where's Joe going? We were sort of deciding to put all these different, like, all these corner bits to be different, um, parts. So I've, uh... We haven't done the back door. I've sort of taken over that far side. Um, that's where I'm going to sort of store most of my trailers and... That's where I'm going to work on some of my building. This bit just here, this is where, uh, we're planning on putting a welder wall and uh, a grinding pit in the basement. Or in lower down, so, uh... You'll get to see that this episode. We should get the majority of it done. Um, I don't think we'll finish the grinding pit, but we'll at least get the weld or bit done. And uh, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, but we'll uh, we'll get there. Over here, this is the um, little contraption thing I made to go on the back of my vehicle. That way we can actually weld the floors easily. I uh, didn't want to build a whole new rover just to do all that, so I... Uh, you know, just made a little modification. It was uh, pretty good. This bit here, this is where I sort of built my, uh, this is my plan, basically. We'll have a little like ramp here where we uh, will drive up and then we can sort of work on the underneath of it. Let's see, yep. Yeah. So imagine that vehicle was on top. Currently Joe has the vehicle, so I, I can't actually show it. But yeah, so we'll, uh, we did that. And uh, this is probably where we'll put, like, the other sort of flying ships, you know, just to fix them up if we need. I, uh, oh yeah, I put an oxygen farm and put an oxygen tank there. That way we could get some oxygen. This is the only production we actually have on the base, which is uh, really bad, actually. Oh yeah, so I wanted to show off this little bit. So in here, this is where I plan on putting the majority of the uh, conveyors for, like, the middle floor. Um, that other way... That way we're just out of the way and uh works really well you can tell i also added a little bit of a blue accent just to uh, add a little bit of color 
of the day, so that's probably going to be the sort of accent colour. Um, I was going to pick orange because I love orange, but you know, we need something to stand out. We're not going to watch this grinding. No, no, no. Don't worry. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, right, so uh, let's get on to the welding, I guess. Welding wall. So, my plan for this was to actually put it on the roof. We, Joe and I experimented having it on the side, having it below, and we sort of decided let's put it on the top. It made the most sort of sense in terms of space and uh, in terms of functionality, being what you can what you can and can't print. So uh, I'll place these little steel plates here and I'll fall. Great. So I'll, uh, as I was saying, I'll place these steel plates right here. And let's just, yep, place all of these in. Just so I don't actually fall again, because that would be uh, terrible if I fell again and died. Well, not died, but just, you know, had to climb all the way back up. So, uh, yeah, let's not do that again. So we need to find a center point so we can uh, put the piston up. That way we can, uh, you know, I placed it on the wrong spot. But we, we can, you know, set up so we can push down the whole... So that's the idea. So the piston's going to be at the top. It's going to push down the whole sort of welder wall or welder slab. Uh, we'll turn the projector on and we'll uh, just slowly push it up or pull it up and it will uh, weld everything. That way we can, uh, you know, weld stuff really fast. We don't have to hand weld it. We can just weld it from a blueprint. Makes it good for uh, mass production. We don't have to spend a lot of time doing stuff. I really have a messed up inventory, don't I? I'm glad I'm just getting rid of all. <laughs> Let's uh, try and organise it a little bit. Right, okay, so what do I need? Uh, I'm going to need a piston. Yep. Also, I need a rotor. Yep, nice. I, I remember these things, you know. And a projector, yes. Right, so we'll put the piston down, like that, yep, and we'll put the uh, welder on the bottom, see how it looks. Come down here, put that on there, come on, come on Jack, yep, I don't, why am I getting a conveyor? Now, I need a welder. There we go. Oh, so in this, um, well, in one of the mod packs, we also have some enhanced welders, so we'll, uh, we'll be able to upgrade them. We'll have larger ranges and stuff. They'll just be better. So, uh, at some point, we'll do that. Now, is it just me, or does that look really low? Like, that's only two blocks, two blocks clearance. That means we can't really build that bigger thing in this room. So uh, we'll we'll rectify that. Much better, much much better. Yeah, I just raised it up by a block, and uh, yeah, three blocks is better than two. Trust me. Um, so yeah, we'll. Uh, I couldn't actually reach to uh, put the things on, so we'll uh, we'll place a block like this, nice, and we'll uh, weld up the piston, so then we can you know lower it and actually see how it looks. And the piston is built. Good. Uh, don't worry, I will get that piston head. I know you need them. So we'll reverse that down. We'll jump down. Ow. We'll take some damage. And we'll... Let's, yeah, let's put it down. Nice. <laughs> and uh, what's my plan here? What was I doing? Um, oh yeah, there you go. I did actually show welding on camera. So, if you notice, it's, it stops one block early, which is fine. It just means we need to um, lower the max distance of the piston from 10 blocks to 7.5. That way, it should be two blocks tall. Let's see? Yep, 7.5. If you didn't know, in Space Engineers, each large grid block is 2.5 meters. It makes life a little bit easy when you're working stuff out. As you can see now, it's perfectly two blocks. It stops two blocks high. 
which we're gonna have to change in the future but you know for now that's good so uh let's begin building the slab shall we so i uh i just uh place conveyor junctions and then welders on them then i'll make it in like a sort of like checkerboard pattern we'll place welders on the little yep on those uh conveyor junctions and on either side like so good and we'll fill that all with conveyor junctions and we'll repeat that pattern you can technically make this pattern as big or as small as you want or well, small so a three by three but you know So there it is um, complete. Now we'll just have to uh, weld it all up, which will uh, take a little bit of time, but that's all right. You can see this sort of grid pattern. It literally, yeah, it's, it's not too complicated to build, to be honest. One of the first ones I've built, but they're not too bad. So yep, here we are welding it all. Um, that's one thing you're gonna see in this video. I'm not gonna show all the welding. The welding is very, very dull. Even me watching it now, I don't particularly want to watch all the welding. And I'm sure you don't either. So we'll uh we'll uh, we'll skip that, shall we? Yeah, let, let's skip it. Come on, let's skip it. Perfect. Complete. Simple. Nice. It's as if I edited this video beforehand and prepared some of these things, isn't it? Wow, what what a surprise I had prepared. Nah. So um Yep, that's that built. One thing we do have to do, oh, I'm talking there about clearance actually. So we, because it's three blocks high, the doors are only four blocks high, so yeah, we didn't want to make it much higher, otherwise, you know, you'd print something out that wouldn't fit through the door. That wouldn't be very good now, would it? Oh look, I actually did forget a couple. All right. But we'll get them welded up, and we're also going to expand this bed a little bit more. Currently it's a five by five, I think we're going to upgrade it to a nine by nine. Again, I'm not going to show all the belt, not all the welding, because it's dull. You, if you've played Space Engineers, you know it, welding is welding. You're just going backwards and forwards getting parts. So uh, yeah, we'll skip to a good bit. Now here, I'm uh, filling. So I built a cargo container at the top here. So we got some armored conveyors at the top there, and we're just filling this small cargo with some steel plates. That way we can. Well, you'll you'll see. You'll see what we're doing. So, uh, yeah, we should be on our last load here. So, um, I filled it to about a thousand steel plates. And, uh, yeah, so we, we put some blocks down at the bottom, sort of some armor slabs and all that, just to uh, hide all that. And then we uh, turned all the welds on at the same time. Like this. That's satisfying, isn't it? One... It meant we didn't have to weld up all them blocks, and two, it showed that all of them were actually piped up and working. The worst thing could have happened, or worst thing that would have happened was we would forget, or we didn't realise it would be connected, or one of them wasn't working or something. It was just, that way we knew it all worked, we were happy, and it, yeah, looked really, really good. So, uh, that was good. Next thing to do was to sort of build the projector up. Of a place where we would actually put the small, well, where we'd show the blueprint of a small grid. That way we could actually print the stuff out. Now, I don't know which way a projector is actually supposed to go. The way I've always done it is I found a sort of cross section and I put that towards the front. I don't know if that's the right way, I don't know if that's the wrong way, but that's just the way I've always done it. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you know a better way to actually do it. Because uh, I don't. So yeah, we need to, uh... Now I don't know there why I didn't actually go just to get the copper. We, I've got inventory space and I knew I needed copper wire. I don't know why I decided just to not get the copper wire. Just meant more running for me, which I guess I need the cardio anyway. Yeah, but look, I had the copper wire right, right there. <laughs> you know, when you're recording for a couple of hours, strange. I love that door, by the way. That, that front door. Sick. I love the windows at the top. Alright, so that's that welded up. Now what we need to do is we need to revert the actual... Um... Come on, jump. Here we go. Revert the piston upwards 
uh, display a blueprint and sort of like check that it actually works. Ooh, actually. Right, so here Joe actually built the um, some button panels to sort of control all this stuff. But he used the vanilla ones, so I uh, I had to upgrade it. All right, like, come on. Use a, use a good premium um, DLC button panels. They look they look cool and they have displays. Like, come on, Joe. Get with a program. No, Joe doesn't ask you in that DLC, so uh, he just put that as a placeholder. Yeah, um, yeah, we got them welded up and we sort of set up. I believe I set it up with some controls. Yep. So yeah, we just sort of, you'll see here me just set the piston to reverse. What I actually did was I set one of the buttons to uh, like go up and one of them to go down. But I don't think I showed that. We spent a good 20 minutes on this. And most of the time was me trying to work out or try and find if I could uh, flip the actual arrow. Unfortunately, I couldn't. So there's a one arrow and it only points up, which is very sad. I'm going to have to get that mod, which has a load more um, little icons and stuff for LCDs. You can see on the left where sort of like the well the 30 is. Uh, yeah, we had an arrow pointing up, but you, we couldn't get one down. It was a very, very sad day. So uh, here I'm, this is actually Joe's drone. We're just using it as a test. So we are. Uh, I put some blocks out and I sort of put it in a spot where it can begin welding. And uh, yeah, we uh, reversed the whole contraption down, I believe. Yep. So I uh, climbed up here, put the, all the stuff down. Nice. Um, now just remember that all we have in here is steel plates. We don't have any of the actual other materials to build. So. When you see some of the thrusters not even begin to build, that's not nothing to do with his welder wall. That's just something to do with the materials that actually had. It didn't have all the materials to build. Um, I just wanted to make sure it would actually work, even though I knew it would work. I, I don't know. We uh, I don't know. So we uh, we turned all the stuff on and we reversed it all. And there you go. See, it, it can technically build. Sick. Uh, we'll have to lower the actual um, speed of this piston a little bit. It's going a little bit too fast, if you notice. It's not keeping up very well. Um, but that's fine. We'll, uh, we can tweak all that. As long as the sort of welders could see and weld through the blocks, we were happy. And now we get on to grinding the floor, because we're building the grinding pit. This is um, yeah the next stage of things we wanted to do. We decided to put the grinding pit directly below the welder, that way it was just saving on space and if we welded up something that wouldn't work, you know, wouldn't be too bad just to dump it. Yep, almost done. And nice. So you may notice there is already a bit of a crater here. That was where Joe and I were testing to see where we actually wanted to put the uh, welder wall. Like I said at the start, we, uh, we, we were sort of thinking about putting the ground, but we uh, decided not to. So, uh... We didn't dig it out very well, so we'll have to spend a little bit of time and dig it a lot bigger. We also planned on, well, we made the whole floor be um, open because we're going to make a custom door, which you'll see soon. Now, is it just me? Or whenever you gr like drill near one of those blocks and it explodes, it makes you jump. I'm sorry, I jump every single time without delay. <laughs> I, s I swear, it's just... I know it's going to happen, but it, yep, it just, just makes me jump. So yeah, we're just digging and, uh, leave. Right, so at this point, Joe and I were sort of discussing how deep we wanted to actually go. Um, we wanted two blocks of volume space, that way when we dump something in, we can close the door and have, you know, space for it to actually grind down. Because you and I both know, small grid on grinders is explosive. Them blocks can travel 100 meters a second in a second. Um, but yeah, so we uh, we had a bit more digging to do, which we did. Yep, more and more, more digging, getting some power. And yeah, at this point, you could sort of see the pit was coming together. We had, uh, we'd got all the blocks placed in. Um, 
And yeah, we were starting to make a decent amount of progress. As you can see, Joe's working hard there, just sort of sitting or standing. Um, I don't actually know what he was doing at that point in time. I can't remember. He he did actually help me uh, dig this whole thing out, so I can't complain that bad. But uh, yeah, we made a makeshift staircase to be able to get up to get oxygen and we just placed a chair down so we could get power. So uh, here we, uh, I was actually placing in some of the, well, not welders, grinders. Come on. They're welders. They're still welders. They're grinders, nice. Notice I couldn't place one in that corner. Wonder why? Because of that little tiny piece of stone that apparently prevented the welder from being placed. Don't know why. Weird. But yeah, so I, uh, I got all them placed in around our steel plates. Went to go and get some more steel plates. And we got majority of them in, and that just looks cool. <laughs> as long as you don't fall in, you'll be fine. But I don't hold any insurance, so uh, don't try at home. Yeah, we got we got it in. We got the welder. We were just sort of chatting, saying, "Yeah, pretty good." However, at this point, we sort of ran out of time. We uh, yeah, we ran out of time. It was getting late, and we couldn't do anything more. So uh, yeah, we ended today's video. Engineer, please consider. If a human dies, it's no big loss, but a perforated spacesuit is hard to replace. Your hologram will not be activated because you are not that important. That works. <laughs>